Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We do have live tournament action coming at you. It will be tonight's Open Arena Tournament. I'm super excited for tonight. We've got a great outlay of players here, some phenomenal players, and we will be kicking it off with Fina O'Spiffy and Topher. Wow, good old favorites here. And, uh, man, we've seen uh, actually quite a bit of both of these players in the past. Both of them tend to be extremely well-played uh, individuals. Topher uh, is going to be our teal Zerg player. He's going to be spawning over here at the 8 o'clock position. Nice little positioning here. It is going to be on Metalopolis, by the way. Might as well get that out of the way. And in close positions by air, spawning at the 6 o'clock position, it will be Fina of Spiffy. Good old Fina, or good old Spiffy, however you want to say it. Nice guy, by the way. Really, really fun guy. He's, he actually does quite a bit of work for Alt Starcraft as well. Wants to help out as much as he can, and that is much appreciated. But uh, Spiffy will be our yellow Terran player. He's going to be down here at the 6 o'clock position, as I mentioned before. And look at that. We've got Supply Depot on the high ground, Supply Depot on the low ground. However, this one does happen to be neutral. Nice thing to remember about your maps. If you are playing on an MLG map, the ramps tend to have a Supply Depot at the bottom of the ramp. That prevents ramp wall-offs. It is kind of a nice feature that they have. It, 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 to wall it off, it takes quite a bit more walling. Let's put it that way. you got to put like a building there. There, 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 whatever. Anyway, it's it's ridiculously hard to wall off instead of just being able to wall off with two or three buildings. It does make it almost impossible to do so. So supply depots, neutral supply depots on MLG, always a good thing to remember. We do see Spiffy opening up with gas here at two minutes in, so could be a little bit of a tech pattern for Spiffy as we move forward. We'll be interested to see that. In the meantime, Topher is going to go for a 14 hatch. Wow, very early hatch here. So going to be rushing into it just a little bit there. We'll see how his hatch first is going to play out. He is also sending out a scout to meet up with his overlord who is currently evacuating the base. He did see the barracks going down as well as that wall off. Knows that marines are going to be on the field here fairly soon, so he is going to be bailing this position for the time being. Looks like this drone is in pretty decent position to uh, get some more scouting out for the time being, but uh, trying to block the wall off there. Slowing down the supply depot timing there just a little bit. It's not a bad deal. There goes your supply depot. Ooh, and he is going to get as tricky as he possibly can here. Going to start doing some attacking. But here comes your first Marine. He is going to snipe that guy. Nails him to the wall with his good old trusty rifle. Looks like our orbital command has completed. We're going to see some mules out on the field here back at Topher's base. We are about to see that hatchery complete and he is in great shape. Spiffy has been scouting him. He's seen just about everything at this point as well as the timing of the spawning pool there. <coughs> Which appears to be pretty solid. I like the timings here from Topher. And moving forward I think Topher uh, doesn't look to have to endure any super early pressure other than we are going to see some Hellions out on the field here in just a few moments. There goes your reactor. So reactor Hellions are on the way. And Sfina Spiffy, standard opener here from him thus far. So these guys are saying that the stream is lagging. Let me go check that real quick. The Balin. It's not lagging for me. Looks pretty good to me, so we'll uh, continue. Hopefully it's not on my side. Don't think it is. Spycrawler going down here for Topher. He does have some good static defense. Nice addition for defense against Hellions, and that's exactly what he's going to have to deal with here in just a few moments. Here comes your barracks from Spiffy, waiting for that uh, reactor to complete, and he will have some Hellions on the way. Notice that Spiffy is going to go ahead and expand behind his Hellion play here. So nice deal there, good fast timing on that command center. Let's see if he's going to grab a tech lab here or not. He is grabbing his second gas, so it's a good possibility we're going to see a tech lab out of him here fairly soon. And this, ooh, look at this, second factory on the way. Spiffy is going to be committing to mech play here, it appears. But here comes your first couple Hellions. We'll be out on the field. We'll see if he's going to send out two. Yep, he is going to send out two. Not going to wait for numbers three and four. But it looks like Topher is in great shape here. He's got double spawn crawlers. I love the positioning here. That, in conjunction with this queen, is going to make it very easy to defend this natural as well as this ramp as he moves forward. Here comes your Hellions, though. He has scouted this. Did scout that with that Zergling, who is now bailing as quickly as he can. And Spiffy just going to wait here a few moments. Probably going to wait for his reinforcements before he tries to go for any drone kills. We'll see if he is going to go for that mineral line harass or not. Tends to be a nice play. It just depends on positioning of spine crawlers. And quite honestly, Topher's got this place under lock at this point. You guys tell me what you think. 
real quick on the live stream when we get there. There's a lag, but that's okay. But let me know what you think. Do you think that Spiffy's Hellion play is going to get some drone kills here or not? I'm interested to see what people's perceptions are on that one. Let me know. Anybody who does answer that question will put your name in the drawing for tonight's cash prizes. Got some roaches now out on the field here for Topher. He is at 52 supply, but currently supply blocked here. It's going to be remedied here in just a couple more seconds. What does he got? Four more seconds there, so not too bad. But something you always want to be mindful of. But this mass Hellion play here from Spiffy is continuing, and we're going to see some tanks out on the field here, I'd assume. We do have that siege tech on the way. Actually, tank number one is already out on the field, and the bunker going down, but here comes your Hellions. Not going to be super happy with these roaches up in their face, and so backing out here is a great idea. <coughs> Bunker complete. We're going to see some just a couple Marines. Only the three Marines out on the field right now. He's going to grab a fourth Marine just for good measure here to fill up that bunker. Siege tank is complete. Or siege tech, rather. So we should go ahead and siege this guy up. There we go. Nice positioning there as well. It's going to make it difficult for these roaches to get tons done. Especially in these small numbers. So smart decision here for Topher to go ahead and back out. He is indeed doing so as quickly as he can. He does have a bunch of lings. Gonna rally over here, take out some good old fashioned artwork. Makes me, you know what that reminds me of? I don't know why I just thought of this, but it reminds me of the original Batman with uh, the Joker, how he went into that art museum and they like walked around and destroyed all the artwork. I don't know why I just thought of that, but that's uh, kind of what Topher is today. He is like the Joker in the original Batman, destroying beautiful pieces of art. <laughs> oh man. Cool, so Tiny Spider and Skater for Life. Are you, I'll put you guys in the drawing. Thanks for answering that question. You guys happen to have been right. Unbelievably smart people we've got out there watching our live streams. But a nice looking matchup here. Spiffy slightly behind in this supply count, but not by much. Check in on that units tab. Economy is well in favor of Topher, I'd say, at this point. But Topher's not too far behind, especially considering the amount of mules that he has at the ready there. So... Pretty good. Looks like a third base going down here for Topher in great time. I like this play from him. He's not taking it too early, but definitely not too late. So this is a perfect time, I'd say, at this point. A little bit of repairs going down here. going to fix up these Hellions, and this mech army is starting to look pretty scary here for Spiffy. I love the positioning of his siege tanks. I like this little wall off. He is going to start securing a third base. While we do have some uh, map control still going down here from Topher, he's really keeping tabs on these towers, as well as being active with a couple lings. Cruising around the back side of the map every which way. Got to love that. Looks like your Hellion's going to start to try and pick up that map control in their favor now. Notice that we do have Blue Flame going down. <coughs> but Topher also picking up a Spire. Interesting play. Now, Spiffy's going to have to be aware of that. Something he's going to want to scout. He needs to have either a bunch of Thors out on the field at this point or needs to start going back into Marine production. And he has not been producing Marines. He doesn't really have much in this to speak for AA. No, uh, what would you call him, uh, missile turrets out on the field at this point. And that means that he's going to be very vulnerable to any type of airplay. Spire, oh wait, did he cancel it? No, he didn't. It finished already. Wow, five Mutalisks now on the way. <laughs> And lucky for Spiffy, he does have his first Thor out on the field. He's absolutely going to need it. There goes your uh, missile turret. He is uh, doing a great job here. He must have scanned. I probably missed the scan, but uh, he must have scanned that and found out that his opponent is indeed going for that Spire tech. Either that or he creeps back over here with a Hellion. I doubt that, though. But did figure it out one way or another and is at least going to have a decent amount of AA here. Going to start securing that third base here in this position and still trying to maintain good map control. He's taken away at least the map control from Topher for now. Topher doesn't have the vision that he used to. He is spreading creep here fairly diligently though. Love the creep spread from him and we're about to see some mutilisk harassment go down. How many do we have here? Units tab shows 10 on the field. No more in production at this point but we are going to see what appears to be an infestation pit. Nice reaction there from Spiffy to get these guys out of the har out of harm's way from the Mutalisks. And the repairs going down on the army there fairly quickly. Nicely done. Whoa, that guy is trying to kill off his own factory. Self-loathing Thor. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so it looks like your Muta is now going to maintain that map control. Fino Spiffy does need to be careful. He's got to evac these guys. Uh-oh. Oof. Is going to take a couple losses here, probably. 
Not too bad. Not too bad, but definitely those guys are going to need some repairs going down. In the meantime, Spiffy working on even more factories. Tech Labs, I assume. Yes, they are. And some missile turrets going to be going down. But here comes a big attack from Topher. He's got a lot of mutas, a good bunch of roaches here, and some lings in the mix. Good unit composition, I'd say, for both players. I'm not entirely sure who it favors. It usually comes down to positioning. This tank is nicely positioned. However, it doesn't have anybody behind him. Here comes your Blue Flame Hellions, and Siege Tanks now got to get their way into this base. Here comes your Thor, the only AA we've got here at this point during this entire engagement, and it looks like he is going to stave these uh, roaches off for the time being. Nicely done. Good engagement, though. Topher's still far ahead, I would say, in the supply count. Look at that. 163 to 30. He is securing another two bases. This one already complete, actually, and base number five is a third of the way done. Wow. Topher really taking control of this match. Spiffy does need to be careful as he moves forward here. He's, he's got to keep this army on the up and up, and he just is. It takes so long to produce Thors. Oh, man, I tell you, it can be really, really brutal deal. And he really needs to get that, uh, get his economy rolling here just a little bit. Let's just check in on that units tab. 57 SCVs. He does have a good bunch of mules, but Topher right around that sweet spot, a little bit over even. Right up around 80 there on the harvester count. Tell you what, man, Topher's in great shape, and he is currently maxed out, so he can start throwing away units here at this point and start floating those extra minerals to remax in a single click of the button, if you will. Super quickly, anyway. Maybe not one click of a button, but you gotta gotta love it with the Zerg once they get to this position. He can tech basically anywhere he wants. He can uh, remax his army almost instantaneously. He'll start floating a whole bunch of extra larva and uh, making sure it's stay on top of those injects. Looks like he's been missing a couple here and there, but that's all right. And to be expected during some of those engagements. But so far, so good. I mean, Topher is completely maxed out at this point, and Spiffy now starting to put together a pretty scary force. I love these blue flame hellions. I love the upgrades he's currently working on. Plus two, plus two Terran vehicle weapons and Terran vehicle plating. Going to make this mech army pretty dang scary. Notice that we do have this center base being taken. So that's base number six for Topher. It used to be a gold. Probably will be gold in the future after this next patch. And here comes your roaches. Moving in. Looks like we're going to have to see Fino Spiffy get himself prepared for defense. Sniping the gas there. Smart play there from Topher. He knows that Spiffy is on a very gas-heavy build here. And so getting that gas is absolutely one of his... One of his few, uh, you know, primary objectives, I guess, at this point. But another command center going down in great time. Actually, maybe a little bit late here. Probably should have already had this one down, but actually not too bad. He is about to be maxed out himself. Topher floating, almost 3K in minerals, one and a half, or actually 1,700 in gas. He's going to be able to remax just so very quickly. And we're going to see some dropping going on, it appears. Looks like a lot of roaches loading up into these overlords. And here comes your army from Spiffy. And Topher is going to take this as a cue to drop the main, it appears. Look at this. Army's crossing paths almost here. But Topher, not scared of this uh, huge mech force. He is going to have to endure a pretty scary attack, though, in just a few moments. And looks like some roaches cruising in here to Spiffy's third. And the drop in the main is about to go down as well. Roaches and creep spread all over the place. It looks like this third is cleaned up. Spiffy only cleaning up just this one natural expan or this um, central expansion here so far, and he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. It's going to turn into a base race scenario here, it appears. Wow, interesting stuff. Now he does have a scary army, so it's going to be very difficult to kill off. Interesting base race here. Topher going to stay maxed out. Spiffy not going to be able to, to do tons of production at this point with so many roaches in his base. Basically, anything he pokes out at this point is going to be. Uh, cleaned up almost instantaneously by those roaches. He is moving forward with the scary, scary force, though. Roaches disappearing. He is going to stall a lot of hatcheries. Notice that Topher is putting down buildings all over the place right now. Wow, this is crazy. The, and only, the interesting problem here for Topher is that he's going to have to have something to do with or to deal with these orbital commands and all these buildings that are now going to be floating around while Spiffy has got basically free reign on this uh, ba on the bases of Topher. So this is quite an interesting base trade scenario 
And quite honestly, if you know Spiffy's not doing terribly, does need to be careful. He does have all of his SCVs essentially pulled here. <coughs> Cruising through, going to take out all the tech structures here for Topher, which is a pretty good pick at this point. He needs to go take out this Spire, actually. The Spire is going to be a big one for Topher at this point. Topher is going to be rebuilding his tech structures over here on this side of the map, it appears. He's got that hatchery coming out. This hatchery here. Where is his Spire or what is it? Lair going down. He's putting down a lair. He says it's got a lair. I don't know. I guess we'll find it. Here comes the army of Topher. Topher wants to be careful. He doesn't want to lose this army unnecessarily. Now Spiffy does have a lot of buildings that he can float around. He can keep these guys with his army. That's the interesting thing about Terran in this scenario. He can just keep his buildings with him, keep them protected with the army. Not a bad little not a bad little play here. He is gonna try and pick off some of these overlords where possible. Wants to whittle down Spiffy's or Topher's army rather. This is not a bad play from uh, Spiffy. Notice he's not sieging up his tanks. He doesn't want to risk doing any damage to any of his other units at this point, which I think is a smart play. Siege damage, not a good idea at this point. He could go ahead and drop one of these uh, for a scan. Looks like he is going to do that. Yeah, scan going down. Going to clean those guys up there pretty quick. Smart play there. And now cruising forward. Looks like Topher's got a mount of defense here eventually. In the meantime, he, Topher did grab out a couple Mutalisks, and Mutalisks are a great play here. They will be able to deal with some of these buildings, especially the ones that are floating around by themselves, like that guy right there. In the meantime, Factory's going down, a lot of scans going down. It does reveal those roaches burrowed there, and Drop's going to be going down. Oh my goodness, right on top of the tanks as they're sieging up. Not a good deal. A lot of tanks are going to go down here. Notice Spiffy's supply count disappearing so very quickly there. I think sieging up there was not the best idea, but so far he has got to be a little bit more careful in this base race. He needs to go ahead and take out a couple of these roaches, I think. Nice thing for him is he does have a lot of Thors, that is great AA here. Should be able to clear through this uh, base with not much trouble. And that is going to mean Topher's got to find places to start putting some more buildings. Notice he did take this expansion here as well. There is some AA here though, strangely enough. Some Mew to play in that is not going to work out too well. But Spiffy now going to be cruising up to the high ground. He did land a couple of his factories. This is going to work on a couple more units. Some Hellions is his unit of choice here. Kind of an interesting play. Notice how much minerals Topher is floating right now. He's had so much mining but very little production. He was maxed out for a good long while during that base race and then lost all of his production facilities in those hatcheries and lairs. So kind of an interesting deal. Taking out all the buildings and now... Dino Spiffy gets to head back across the map here to his, uh, his side of the map, it appears, and he is going to go start taking out these hatches. See if he's going to be able to do this. Uh, quite honestly, I think uh, Spiffy is in the better position just because of his ability to lift off his buildings here. And Topher has got to be so frustrated with this. My goodness. Yeah, Skater for Life, I love it. Skater for Life out on the live stream says, Hmm, Terran seems a bit OP to me. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, what can I say? This is this is one of the benefits of playing Terran. In this scenario, Spiffy does pick up a pretty substantial advantage with less supply than his opponent has. And I, I mean, that what can I say? But that's a, a frustration point that Zerg has a lot of difficulty dealing with. Now, it looks like he is going to lose a couple of his Hellions. He's using those Hellions mostly for scouting. He does now have his Thors and such in position to deal with these hatcheries. Now Topher cannot produce hatcheries forever, so he's gonna have he's gonna have to make a stand here eventually. And he doesn't have quite enough. Wow, I just don't think I, I don't see how Topher can win really, to be honest, in this situation. And notice that Spiffy is gonna get back to mining here. This is a big deal, and really all he needs is just one or two Thors at this position for defense. And then he can use the rest of his units to cruise around the map. Because there's not really enough roaches, I don't think, on this field right now. Not quite enough roaches to deal with. Too many Thors, so... What have we got for upgrades here? Two Carapists there. It's not bad. It's really helping out, but the upgrades here for Spiffy are just phenomenal. Plus two, plus two. And look at all these mules going down. Spiffy is going to be back into the money here in a very big way. Topher does have three mining bases. 
kind of. I mean, this one's not really mining yet, but it will be. And, I mean, he's in not bad shape, and we're going to see these guys, it looks like, rebuilding their entire economies here. But, quite honestly, Spiffy, I think, has still got a phenomenal army and should be keeping the pressure on Topher at this point. Looks like Topher will lose these hatches here. Yep, Queen's going down. This is going to slow Topher down even more. And he's going to start running out of these minerals. And notice this mineral count here for Spiffy. Over 2,000 in minerals at this point. And these hatcheries are going to go down. And that's the big thing for Topher right now is he just doesn't have enough hatcheries to get his unit production where it needs to be. Here comes some roaches. Looks like he is going to go for an attack at this expansion here in the center of the map. Try and take these guys down. Spiffy not really in position to defend this, so he's going to take some losses here. Ooh, Spiffy does need to evacuate these guys here, I think. Lift his buildings up one. I think he's using them as a decoy to try and trap this roach army. I think he wants to try and engage this here. Ooh, lift buildings, my goodness. He can't afford to lose these. Needs to get some repair down on this orbital. Not a good deal to lose an orbital. There we go. We got some repair going down there. And Spiffy is in just fine shape. He does need to go ahead and land this, I think. Get back to mining here. Uh, Topher does have this base going down. He is going to rebuild his spawning pool. Good scan going down here is going to reveal the Roach Warren is up. And a scan there reveals that the spawning pool is on its way. So he knows he's got work to do. Topher here is not in super bad position. But we basically reset this match. My goodness, this is crazy. I think Spiffy should go ahead and move out, though. He does have a substantial army. Could put a lot of hurt on his opponent's roaches there. I think moving out is his best play at this point. Notice we do have a lot of roaches now in production. Can't allow Topher to get too far ahead on this roach production. Notice we got another... Base going down here. Topher's smart move. He's going to take this kind of hidden base. Spiffy needs to get some more uh, buildings built. He's got a lot of building to do when it comes down to it. And he just is so supply locked at this point, he can't really produce anymore. So, I don't know. We'll see what he's going to go from here. But I half expect to see Topher actually fare better in the long run now that we are back to this position. I think that Spiffy is going to use up his window of opportunity here. There we go. We've got these guys back on the move here. This, this is what we need to see. I think the, the tanks just need to kick it here. Uh, maybe one or two Thors and, the, and two or three tanks should be able to defend this base very, very well for the time being. And Spiffy can get himself back on, back on target with just a few units and the rest of them can cruise around the map and do some damage. So not a bad play. I think he should go put some pressure, try and keep Topher on as few mining bases as possible right now. But here comes your roaches. Looks like they're going to start to... on some of these buildings and here they come up to this high ground ah this is what I'm saying you gotta split that army up just a little bit wow Spiffy is definitely in big trouble here he's gotta keep moving time for him to get back on the road I think and uh, try and take this army down there he goes this is a great engagement for him here Blue Flame Hellion is actually surprisingly effective right here. Ch giving chase to those roaches, keeping those roaches moving, unable to turn around and uh, do some attacks to the rest of these slow army. And now a large force moving forward, and Spiffy could be in good position to take this down. He is going to get flanked here. Will depend on how many of these Thors do live through this roach attack here. The tanks are starting to disappear. He's got four left on the field. They're holding, holding firm, and that is, wow... Very, very good at this point for Spiffy. Still at 45 supply. It does not really matter. He's got such a strong force here with those upgrades. Is going to call down some mules here for some repairs. A nice play. Got to keep these units in good repair. Should be able to deny the space with not much trouble. And Topher could be in, in danger here. My goodness. This base does go down. He's got to keep moving here. That's the trouble with this slow army. He's really got a lot of work to do.
Roach is here doing a great deal of damage, and here comes Spiffy's army once more. He is going to take that down. And now to the next base. Now that we've got two mining bases for Topher. He is doing a lot of damage here. He's keeping these buildings lifted off. He's going to take out as many as he can. Do we have a spire yet? No, we do not. That's what we really need. He can, well, actually, he needs to take out these stores first, but... I don't know, man. Topher's in a lot of trouble here. In a lot of trouble. Another thing he could get is Hydras. <laughs> would stop a lot of that. But Spawning Pool going down here again. He is going to have this one mining base. To Spiffy does need to move up here and take out this base immediately, even if he if it means that he loses one or two of these units. He just has to do it. He cannot wait any longer at this point. He's got to stall the mining here of Topher. Roach is trying to pick this army apart, taking out just one or two units at a time is very cost effective for Topher at this point. Scan going down is going to relieve that that uh, Roach of his life. Man, this is such a long game. These Roaches over here not doing tons <coughs> are going to make their way into the fight. And here comes the Roach flank. Going to be last stand, I think, for Spiffy. If he can hold on here, he does have a good solid chance, but this is basically it. His last ditch effort, and there it is. GG well played from Spiffy. Topher will be moving forward. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't alt tab. Always on StarCraft. We'll catch you guys in our next game.